Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today we're going to talk about the RJ11. Now the word RJ means registered jack and was originally designed by the phone company I believe back in the 70s. Um, and RJ11 means a single pair uh, jack, um, two wires. Now this is a six position mod plug. There you go. A six position mod plug, it means it can take six conductors or six conductor mod plug. And you can see the little uh, uh, connectors there and they're all raised. And so what you would do is if you're going to use this, you would put the, uh, uh, the cable, you would slide it in there and then use a crimper uh, similar to this crimping device. You would stick the mod plug in there like this and then the wire and then you would crimp it down and as you crimp it down it would take those um, uh, little metal pins that you're seeing in there and it would it would shove them into the wire uh, now this is a six uh, position mod plug and this is the size plug that you use for RJ11's and RJ14's um, RJ11s, RJ14s are basically used for voice. Here is an RJ11. Notice it's the same size plug, but only two pins are in it. That makes it a true RJ11. And this cord, it's called silver satin. It's a flat cord. It's used for telephones, and that's also called a line cord. And it goes from the wall to your to your telephone. Usually, the older telephones use this. Now everyone's using VoIP and are using RJ45s which is now used for computers but as you can see it only has two wires in there so there's two wires if I can get the focus on those two wires or those two pins there you go um, that makes an RJ11 now if it had four positions in there it would be an RJ14 and some of the older phones needed an RJ14 some some old phones that have two lines to them needed RJ14s and uh, in that case you just put four wires into your mod plug and you would crimp it down. Now just to give you an example of the difference between an RJ11 uh, crimp mod plug or crimpable mod plug here is an RJ45. Notice the difference? RJ45s are basically today used for computers so the telephones that use RJ45s today are your voice over IP uh, telephones and um, they would use this type of uh, mod plug this is what the RJ45 looks like when it's crimped down to a uh, patch cord uh, this has a strain relief on it by the way and it's all punched down you can see the wires inside um, you can make these uh, patch cords yourself I don't know why anyone would want to because they're very inexpensive um, but we do sell the parts we sell the mod plugs and the boots and the wires and you can get a crimper and you can make any uh, patch cords you want to your heart's content any length you want and you just need to test them um, let me show you the difference between an RJ45 and an RJ11 um, uh, jack Oh, I'm sorry, an RJ, uh, yeah, RJ11. Actually, this is a six position uh, one, so if you just use two of those pins, you just punch down one pair in here, it'd be an RJ11. It's your center pins. The other one is your RJ45, and if you look real close, you can see the difference in width. An RJ45, we'll take an RJ45 jack, slide it right in there. RJ11 won't even fit. But what you can do is if you have a line cord and you're cabling um, you know you may want to go with RJ45 uh, jacks um, and just use an RJ11 mod plug which snaps in can work with an RJ45 jack and there in the future you have that jack all ready to go for your computer network or if you change to VoIP so if you're cabling a building you might want to cable with RJ45s um, the one last thing I want to show you, just to show you the difference, is you 
you don't want to confuse a curly cord for an RJ11 or 14 because they really are different. If you can see the RJ uh, six position RJ mod plug is definitely uh, smaller than the four position. This is a four position used for handsets of, on telephones and both of them together are smaller than the RJ45. So here's the, the three mod plugs you come in contact with usually. A very well designed system was designed years ago, all three of them for voice by the phone company and they have uh, served well over the years. Uh, again, everything you've seen here, including the jacks and the faceplates and anything you need for cabling, we sell at uh, cablesupply.com. Thank you for your time. Please check out our other videos uh, on how to punch down RJ45s and RJ11s and how to make line cords and patch cords and, and how to do just about anything you need to do in the uh, IT field when it comes to cabling. Again, this is Jim with cablesupply.com. Thank you for watching our video.